fully foot-powered scroll saw, Batman! Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. This video is going to be a little bit different because I want to introduce you to a scroll saw that I purchased a while ago. Uh, this is a scroll saw by Empire. Um, it's from the early um, 1920s. Uh, the most recent patent date on it is 1917. So it, the patent date is 100 years old. And uh, it's, it's really kind of cool because you got this uh, the smaller flywheel over here that then will drive the arm and you can scroll on it. The problem is it's missing several things. It's missing a flywheel, so this bolt hole here would have a large flywheel that would be rotating inside the frame here. And then there would be treadles that would connect down here onto the bottom that would then power the flywheel. And so you'd actually have pedals out there you'd run. It's also missing a table. And there's a few other little things in here that is missing. And I want to go and restore this um, beautiful beast. So I'm going to be doing several videos in the future about either making parts for it or finding the parts to restore this and get it functioning and part of the Wood by Right shop. But I need your help. Um, I want to do a little research on this and see if anyone out there knows of where I could find the table, flywheel, or uh, treadles for it, um, whether or not I want to make them, or if someone has resource images of what those look like so that I can at least make something that might match it. Uh, so I'm gonna take you around this and show you some of the individual features, let you get a chance to look at it. If you have any information, I'd love to hear it in the comments below or feel free to contact me. So let's take a look at it. Now I purchased this at the Midwest Tool Collectors Association National Meet last year. And uh, right up here it says uh, the Seneca Falls um, MFC Company, Seneca Falls, New York. Down a little lower here it has Empire. Then you can see how someone has tried to restore this. You can see it's been repainted. Um, and I don't know if it like fell apart in the restoration and that's why I don't have the rest of the parts here. Uh, but someone has done a good job of restoring the frame. So it's all been well painted and a lot of the lettering has been filled in. I don't know if that's the original color though. I'd love to find out. Then around here on the front, you can see these are actually the pivot points where the treadles will run on, and then the, the treadle would be out here in front, you would step on it. Uh, so this has uh, patent June 12th, uh, 1917, and uh, January 12th, uh, 1885, Empire. The table mount here is really interesting. It's got this bolt that comes through here, you can open this up. And basically it's a big ball socket inside here that holds the table. So you'd have a ball socket, a ball that would fit in here, it would clamp down on, and that would allow you to pivot the table to any particular angle you want, but there'd still be a hole going through for the saw blade to then run. So I'm really interested to see if anyone has the original table that I could kind of get the idea of what did that ball joint look like. Uh, what did the table look like? I'd love to find that out. Here you can also get an idea of how it functions. The flywheel would pivot um, back here and would be ramping up into this. Then you have a belt around the flywheel that would then connect to this smaller pulley. So every rotation of the flywheel would make this rotate many, many times. Um, then you could have your hand here to get this started so you can actually start the, the flywheel running by that. And then you would have your pedals down here. You'd be running either side to be functioning this thing. So I'm really looking forward to working this. And I think if I end up making the pedals and flywheel, what I'll end up doing is connect the pedals to the flywheel and then use the pedals and the flywheel sort of a lathe to then cut in the V-groove for the belt to connect from this to the flywheel. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I might be able to find an actual flywheel. So there's a quick look at this beauty. Um, I'm really looking forward to installing this and actually getting it up and running again and playing with it. It makes some really cool videos and how do I actually put all this together. So if you have any information on where I could find the parts or if you have some pictures of what those parts look like so that I could model it off of and try and make it as, as close to original as possible, I'd love to hear that. Uh, also, if you have any ideas of something you would love to see me do with it, I'd love to hear that. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. If you'd like to contact me, I do have a contact form on my website, uh, woodbyright.com, and I'll uh, get the email from that. So that's what I have going on. I'm really looking forward to working on this. Um, yeah, the videos will be coming out as soon as I get enough information to actually start working on it. 
I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can afford to actually purchase um, beasts like this and get them up and working again. If you'd like to find out more about Patreon, you can do so right down there. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and see some behind the scenes footage, you can do that as well. I do put other some of the, uh, the in-between videos when I'm actually doing the restoration, but the camera isn't running for the channel on my second channel. But uh, that's about it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day.